Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, just let you guys know that I know some son of son of son of you already orders uh the pot for Ada food. Uh, once you get those Ada food, you don't have to wait till you get this uh the full setup of the car. Uh, this car what it does it tie in with your joystick and the power and your everything you know the all the SD card you put the the micro SD card from the the image from Raspberry Pi image instead of put it on the board you put it here so you want to put the Raspberry car memory uh, SD car uh, and put it into uh, the system board of the Raspberry Pi Raspberry Pi so you're gonna put it behind here with the uh, face up you're gonna put that in here now I already put the heat sink everything and uh, I'm gonna treat it like like if I didn't have this uh, RGR car yet, I just have the Ada food. So you could take your uh, retro arcade apart. Only thing you have to do is just push this up, and then the car, the weapon, the weapon will slide down. You see, it's go up and down like this. Okay. So you just want to slide this up. Let me bring it closer. I, I apologize. I didn't uh, turn on the light. In here and it's getting dark so uh, this part you just push it up like, like this and the whip weapon will come down and you just press it down you know when you put the weapon back okay so you just take the joystick weapon off the the retro arcade board and then uh, I'll hook it from the the board itself and then hook it to the this uh kick clipper so I'm, I'm just gonna call it clip clipper <laughs> all right and then just you know don't bend the, the the weapon and then just sandwich it together with raspberry pi and then once you put the sd card in you just put the network directly in here so that your download will be much faster and then you put the regular because now the controller is not hooked up to anything so you don't have uh, the controller so you go ahead and uh, plug in your regular control in here and then your network into this okay now you also need a power so you want to go ahead and uh, get a, 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 a I guess they are 3.5 power cable port and it's a micro us micro usb which is the the connection of the, the android phone so you want to plug this into it now the Android phone is changing to C, so I can't say Android phone anymore because it's not the true factor anymore. But it's called a micro USB uh, adapter head, okay. And then once you plug it in, it's gonna boot up. And what I'm doing now is uh, I'm uh, we we installing the the uh, the Dreamcast emulator so that that uh so once it's finished. Once you get the RGM, you just hook it up together, and and then it's ready to go. So uh, this is just demo demonstrating, helped you guys understand uh, what you could do in the meantime. Before before this car come in, you could go ahead and set up the video, uh, download the config dot text that I have the link. Uh, I will put that in the description on this one too. Just download that and put it on your. SD. Once you finish burning the SD card, copy that file that you download from me. And replace the one you have on this one and then your video video will work just fine so you don't have to like type in anything it's already pre-typed for you okay uh, and then if you download the same image I have that would be much better you don't have to you know run into any kind of problem or anything uh, what I was saying before was that uh, uh, the video got cut off because I was running out of space again my uh, my iPhone is that this emulator play much better than this emulator and this one will let you play two player and you can hook it up to TV this one you cannot only if you buy another device but if this device you don't like it and it doesn't play well why you want to buy a second one and hook it up together you know what I'm saying so if you buy one and you already like yeah I don't like it you know <laughs> doesn't play the emulator the way I thought it will then why buy another one you know so this is a better the better deal. You could hook it up to TV and play two player without depending on another device. And the emulator for the Nintendo uh, come with 360. 
uh, it's, it's very similar to the one, it's a handheld one that is called, uh, the black one called the 168 game in one uh, look like a Game Boy handheld game uh, that one and this one is, is, is uh, similar uh, they have the same box and same company who made it so this emulator play as well as the other one if you like the 168 game that come in the black one you will like this one because it's the same same company because if you turn it on it's gonna look exactly the same in, in the first page uh, let me press the see it come in the same screen as the, the one with the 168 same character running so yeah and the game is good it doesn't have duplicate uh, you have good 360 solid game here so there's some homebrew game that they added which is to me is stupid but <laughs> but some people like to play the homebrews you know who know all right so just FYI and this one it, it's good it used the SD card but if, if a file is too much in in the folder uh, one of the viewers just told me that at first I thought it was maybe because the I was using a 128 gig but if you if you're using 128 gig uh, you want a, a smaller folder because you don't want to put a thousand file or 800 file in one folder it's just this system is not capable to load all that all that file in one time it just show there's nothing in your folder so you would think that hey what's wrong with the system it's just that you cannot read all that much file because the resource is not it's not that big on this uh, little board because it doesn't have that much space in, in internal you know and so if you put too much on external it's just going to uh, crash not crash but it's going to say there's no f file in that folder even though you do okay just an FYI just let you guys know all right so right now what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, uh, use my mouse my keyboard and my joystick which I which I plug in and the joystick I'm plugging in is the like I say they all the emulator is configured with the Xbox controller or a PSP controller with the wire connection USB and they are connect they are made to run with this kind of joystick so you have to reinstall the retro arcade to able to reconfigure the arcade type of joystick okay so joystick it automatically work because the image is already configured with to work with this kind of joystick so yeah the joystick working fine without configure it at all once I plug it in uh, so I want to go to let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing and let me change the camera up more so what we're doing now is uh, going to Raspberry Pi and we install the uh, the wet uh, what you call it the the Dreamcast emulator so here's Raspberry Pi I'm gonna press A and then I'm going to scroll to uh, Raspberry setup Let me see. I got the. I also got the instruction uh, win out in the description, step by step, where to go, what to do, what question, what answer. I mean, uh, the question is gonna ask you what, what option you're gonna pick. Okay, so I'm going to Raspberry up setup. Uh, this is Raspberry. There you go. Rest, uh, retro Pi, uh, retro Pi setup. Okay. And then I'm gonna press A to go in. So, uh, just just want to emphasize again, you do want to get a heat sink on this. Uh, Raspberry Pi are very easy to heat up. Okay, it's a good system, it's cheap computer, it's a personal little smart computer, it's so small and
and but it need heat heat sink. It doesn't run well without a heat sink. Okay, and I recommend to get a a good heat sink like copper that it will protect your Raspberry Pi from uh, freezing up or not working from uh, not working correctly. So the option I'm installing is uh, setting up is called install update all option package from source. I have that on the description. So if you can read that, I have it on the description, the step. So you want to do install. Now this is going to not take a couple hours, but actually several hours. It takes so long that you just want to walk away. Uh, while last night I was using a Wi-Fi and the system was running overnight and it got pretty hot so when I touched the system it rebooted and so it didn't complete the install so I'm gonna have to that's what I'm doing right now I'm redoing it again are you sure yes this is going to take many many hours so I'm gonna end the video like this and then the second time you're gonna do it is in the description you're gonna go back to the same place again and this time it's gonna it's not gonna stay install it's gonna say upgrade so you want to run it the second time. After you finish running the second, uh, you want to reboot it first, reboot the emulator, and then come back to it second time. After the second time you reboot it, then you can run the, the control. Uh, let me say no for now. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you're going to say no. And then when you come back to the same area, it's, instead of this will change to upgrade instead of install. It will know you already upgraded. Then the second, and then uh, let me go back one step then later you're gonna come back and after you did it twice you are going to select control slash tools okay instead of going to the management package you're gonna to go to configure tool this is where all the options are gonna ask you please press the button to configure your joystick so once you configure it then you're good to go Okay, I put all the question and all the answer on the description at the below. Check that out. And so in the meantime, you could do all this, get this thing ready, set up. Uh, but you don't want to do con config slash tools until you get your RGR uh, retro game restore uh, car. Once you get that, then you want to, then you could do this part. Okay. Alright, so this is just a quick video to show you how to upgrade and you could do that, get the video, get everything set up, get the image going, uh, get your purchase your heat sink, make sure the Raspberry Pi is running good. And everything is running good, then uh, uh, well let me go ahead and start mine since that way we could talk in the, while this thing is running so I don't waste any time. Manage the option package. I want to install all the options from the source, not binary, but source, okay? Yes, and this is going to take forever. Since I have the network plugin, it's going to go a lot faster because Wi-Fi was just slow, okay? All right, so let me zoom back in. Move my camera down. Back in. Okay, so you want to do is you want to get this thing hooked up, set up, plug the network in. Once you plug the network in, it only may see the network. You don't even have to configure, but it's a good idea to configure your Wi-Fi at the same time. I think my other video, I think the 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 third video, there was two of three and three of three. It talked about how to set up the network. So you want to set up the network first. And that way, when you unplug the direct connection, you still could connect to the network and do this kind of stuff, you know, without taking everything apart. But I've been taking this apart several times. It's pretty easy now that I got it memorized, you know. It's just when you take it apart, you do have to put a power and you do have to put an SD card behind this, okay? And then you have to plug in a controller keyboard if you have to make a selection option like one, two, you know, option. All right, so other than that, once you unplug this, plug those, and unplug the power, once you plug into this system, you don't need any of this stuff, the power or the, the network or the keyboard or the, the yeah, keyboard or the joystick. This is going to use as a joystick, okay? And that, that is going to give you the power to the Raspberry. 
and the screen as well. All right, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Hope this helped. Bye-bye.